Speak. Always speak note. Navigate images. Alt. Rotor. Typing. Navigate. Rotor. Button. Audio. For braille. Sp speaking. Spe speech. Speaking rate. Start. Hello everyone. This is Stephen Darty here with another Austin Lighthouse Tech Tip. Today, I'm going to briefly go over how you can customize voiceover gestures on iOS for individual Braille devices. This is a useful feature because oftentimes Braille displays come with different key and button configurations depending on the model and brand that you go with. So voiceover takes this into account by allowing you to customize gestures for each individual Braille device that you connect. In order to customize gestures for individual Braille displays, you're going to want to go to voiceover settings, which I have open now, and then find the commands button at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and flick to the commands button. Speech button. Braille. Verbosity button. Audio. Commands button. There we go. All commands button. Now here in the command screen, we can customize anything, not just braille commands so we can customize commands for when we have bluetooth keyboards connected we can set custom touchscreen gestures etc there's a lot of stuff we can mess with here but towards the bottom of the screen we have a braille devices heading and under that we have a list of the braille displays that we either have currently or previously paired to the iphone so I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom here and find the focus display that I'm currently working with. Focus 40 Beta E3 BCC 208 button. And that's the one that I want. That's the one that I currently have connected to the phone. So I'm going to click on that. Braille button. Now what we're presented with is a list of categories. And these are categories of commands. So we can customize commands for Braille manipulation or for voiceover navigation or for manipulating the rotor on the braille display etc what i'm going to do here though is i'm going to go ahead and just for the sake of this demonstration is i'm going to go to the braille category and assign a command for decreasing the auto advance speed auto advance is a neat little feature that allows you to read on the braille display and it will pan automatically after a certain time interval without you having to hit the panning buttons so that's going to be the first command in this braille subcategory so when i click on it it's going to focus me on that command decrease auto advance speed button see there we go there's decrease auto advance speed button there are a bunch of commands that we can modify here each one of them when we click its button will present us with a dialog which lists the braille keys we've already set and allows us to add edit or delete as we see fit for this particular command i don't even have a braille key set yet so when i click this i'm going to be informed that there are no assigned braille keys braille keys heading if I flick to the right here. No assigned braille keys. Dimmed. No assigned braille keys. But now if I flick right. Assign new braille keys. Button. Once I click this, I will be presented with a dialog, which will tell me to enter desired braille keys. And then it, once I enter those keys, that dialog will disappear and be replaced with something else. I'm going to use... A gesture that I already know is in use somewhere else because when you assign custom gestures to make your braille display work just the way you like you're gonna find that you'll probably run into conflicts so I'm gonna go ahead and click this button here alert press braille keys and I'm gonna put in dots one two three chord for decreasing the auto advance speed if you're familiar with Braille on iOS, you know that this is the command for going to the first item in a list or the top of a document or screen, etc. But we're going to overwrite it to show you what happens when you run into a conflict. So I'm going to type the 123 chord on the display now and let's see what happens. 
Alert. Braille keys already in use. Dot one plus dot two plus dot three plus space bar is already being used to perform the first item command. Do you want to replace this command? All right, so we're being told what it's used for and asked if we want to replace it. And we, of course, have our... Cancel button. Replace button. And for the sake of this demo, I'm going to replace it. Assign new Braille keys button. And now we're back in the list of assigned keys for this gesture. Only now when I flick left back to where it used to say no keys assigned, we're going to see the one I just added. Dot one plus dot two plus dot three plus space bar. Actions available. And we can, of course, use rotor manipulation to either swipe down or use the equivalent on the Braille display to um, edit this short or to delete this shortcut. Delete. I don't actually want to delete it though, so I'm not going to double tap here. Alternatively, we can edit these keystrokes with an edit button that I'll find by flicking to the left. Braille keys, hitting, edit button. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to flick to the back button. Decrease auto advance speed, hitting, braille, back button. All right, just flicked to the left until I heard the back button. Braille, decrease auto advance speed, button. And that is how you assign a custom gesture. Now, before I go, I want to show you what you can do if you have messed up your configuration because the gestures that you decided to create are not to your liking and you want to revert it to out of the box state, how voiceover had your gestures configured before. It's a very easy thing to do. All we have to do is press the back button here to get out of the braille subcategory of commands for this display. Braille, heading, focus 40 beta E3 BCC 208, back button, focus, braille, button. And now that we're back on the list of categories, we can go down to the bottom and find a reset button. I'm going to touch the bottom of the screen and try to look for it here. Reset all braille keys assignments, button. Awesome. We can reset all the keys that we've assigned. I'm going to go ahead and do that here to revert my one, two, three space braille key stroke back to normal because I don't actually want that to decrease the auto advance speed. And I could have deleted it before, but again, I want to show you that you can do this if you've messed up multiple keystrokes and want them all reset at once. You literally just hit this button. Braille button. And it's done. Well, all right. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope this was helpful for you. I will see you next time.